Flash Gordon is the protagonist of the space opera adventure comic strip created by and originally drawn by Alex Raymond. First published January 7, 1934, the strip was inspired by, and created to compete with, the already established Buck Rogers adventure strip. Starting April 22, 1935, the strip was adapted into The Amazing Interplanetary Adventures of Flash Gordon, a 26-episode weekly radio serial. The series followed the strip very closely, amounting to a week-by-week -week adaptation of the Sunday strip for most of its run. Flash Gordon was played by Gail Gordon, later famous for his television roles in Our Miss Brooks, Dennis the Menace, The Lucy Show and Here's Lucy. The cast also included Maurice Franklin as Dr. Zarkov and Bruno Wick as Ming the Merciless. The radio series broke with the strip continuity in the last two episodes, when Flash, Dilla and Zarkov returned to Earth. They make a crash landing in Malaysia, where they meet Jungle Jim, the star of another of Alex Raymond's comic strips. The series ended on October 26, 1935 with Flash and Dale's marriage. The next week, the adventures of Jungle Jim picked up in that Saturday time slot. Two days later, on October 28, the further interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon debuted as a daily show, running four days a week. This series strayed further from Raymond's strip, involving Flash, Dilla and Zarkov in an adventure in Atlantis. The series aired 60 episodes, ending on February 6, 1936. Presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon and Dale Arden. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, now printed in 32 tabloid-sized pages, each page in full four colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Last week, you may remember, Flash Gordon and Dale Arden saved the Earth from destruction by shooting a rocket at a planet which threatened to collide with it. They became marooned on the planet called Mongo. The Emperor, Ming the Merciless, ordered Flash killed and commanded Dale to marry him. The royal princess, loving Flash, saved him. Soon, Prince of the Lion Men helped Flash prevent Ming from marrying Dale by breaking up the marriage ceremony and escaping underground. Now we continue the story. Flash and Dale are captured by the Shark Men. Princess Aura appears and again saves Flash, who in turn tries to free Dale. But Thune's father, searching for his princely son, captures the princess and Flash. Rather than remain a captive, the proud Aura hurls herself over the cliff, only to be caught by the terrible leaves of a constrictor plant. Flash hastens to her aid. Oh. 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 Don't struggle, Princess Aura. Oh. I'll free you. Oh, hurry. The leaves are crushing me. I'll cut them with my sword. Oh. Oh, be careful. Oh, oh, careful, Flash. The oh, plant may catch you. This is devilish plant. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Flash. It's caught you, too. Yes, yes, I didn't think it could. This is a tough break. What shall we do now? I don't know. Yes? Oh, 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 Flash. What is it, Princess? Are you in pain? No. Look, look down there. A door in the cliff has opened. Yes, so it has. There are soldiers coming out. Strange-looking guns. Those your father's men? No. No, I never saw them before. They must have seen us uh, coming to make us captive. Well, at least they'll get us out of the clutches of this terrible plant. Oh. Soldiers, shoot your rake out of that plant and kill it. But don't injure its victims. I want them brought to me alive. Don't be afraid, Princess. Oh. Those men will catch you. Oh. Be ready to catch our men. Now, the other one. Here I come. Oh. We're safe on the ground. But what will happen now? Oh, Gun's the leader of those soldiers. Soldiers, you did that well. Ah, Princess Aura. Yes. How do you know me? I do not know you. I know your father. Oh. Oh, what's this? Another white stranger? Yes, Prince Baron. Blindfold him and prepare our other white prisoner for the ordeal of the poison daggers. As you command, Prince Baron. What are you going to do with me? Guard. Take the princess to my quarters. As you command, Prince Baron. Ah, here 
comes out of a white prisoner. Perhaps you know him, youth. How can I tell? He's got a hood over his head. I can't see his face. He says he is from the earth. I suppose you are from there, too? I am. I don't believe you. But no matter. Our hiding place must remain a secret, so both of you must die. Are the white prisoners prepared, guard? They are, Prince Baron. Their left forearms are tied together. And the poison daggers, are they ready? Yes, sir. Good. Now listen, prisoners. I am dipping these two daggers in dragon's blood. The slightest scratch from these blades means certain death. Guard, give these to the prisoners. On the count of three, you will commence fighting. One, two, three. As Prince Baron utters the word, Flash steps back, jerking his mysterious antagonist off balance. Oh. He flings aside his dagger. Then he causes his opponent to drop his poisoned weapon. Picking up the dagger, Flash severs the cord, binding him to his opponent. And as the two whip off their blindfolds and reveal themselves to each other, Flash Gordon, Dr. Zarkov. So you do know each other. I should say we do. I'm mighty glad to see you, Doctor. I thought you were dead after our rocket crashed on this planet. I was badly hurt, Flash. These fellows, they picked me up and brought me here. They made me act as their servant. Well, we saved the earth, didn't we, lad? We certainly did, Doctor. Now, Prince Baron, maybe you will believe that we are from the Earth. This man was the most brilliant scientist in the world. He was convinced... Stop! My admiration for both of you is boundless. I would be honored to have you shake my hand and call me friend. Your friend? Yes. Why, of course. Here's my hand. And mine. Good. Now come to my quarters. My friend, I have invented an electric mole with which I intend to burrow underground into the palace of Ming the Merciless and overthrow his tyrannical government. Are you with me? Certainly. You bet we are. We've got to rescue Dale and soon from that fiend. Princess Aura. You heard what I planned to do? Yes. Please take me back to my father's palace with you. You? Why, it's because of you that I am a hunted man with a price on my head. You will remain here as my prisoner. Come, my friends. Come. Oh, I will, will I. Start. What is it? What is your name? Runkel, my princess. Runkel. I thought I recognized your face. You fled into exile from my father's guard when you were caught stealing. Yes. Listen, Runkel. Princess. If you will help me warn my father of what those men plan to do, I will make you not only wealthy, but also a duke. For once so lovely, my princess, how could I refuse? Come with me. Unaware of what has happened in the hiding place and racing underground toward the palace of Ming the Merciless in their electric mole, Prince Baron, Dr. Zarkov, and Flash Gordon encounter a fierce Grocco, or armor-plated dragon. Flash climbs out of the mole and gives battle, saving his companions. For this, Prince Baron promises that if they succeed in overthrowing Ming, Flash will be made a prince of Mongo, and anything he desires will be his. Finally... The electric mole breaks through the floor of the central hall of Ming's palace. The door opens and the trio emerge from the metal burrowing machine. Come, my friends. We have arrived. Ah, so we have. Uh, what is our next move, Prince Barry? Uh, this is the central hall of Ming's palace. We go up those stairs, Dr. Zarkov, and surprise the inner guard. Prince Baron, look. Ming's armored men. We've been betrayed. Yes. But how could the news have reached here before us? Let us get our ray gun. It's no use, Doctor. The armor of those soldiers is ray proof. Here comes. Being the merciless with his high priest. Flash, Flash. Thank heavens he's all right. Mm, welcome back to my palace, Flash Gordon. And welcome to your companions. So just lash them to the pillar over there. Then execute them. Oh, Flash, darling. I love you so much. Dale, my dear. We did our best to save you, but we've been betrayed. I guess they have us now. Let them shoot. They'll kill me, too. And we'll be together. Forever. Very well, Dale Arden. You can have him in death. Captain, we'll seek with the execution. Shoot, you yellow dogs. We aren't afraid to die. Ready? Hey, stop. Hold your fire. Froggy, what does this mean? If you were not the high priestess, I would have your tongue torn out for your insolence. I ask you, remember, sire, that according to the sacred spirit of how... Even a traitor has the right to choose between the firing squad and the terrible test. True, Zugi. 
And on second thought, the test would furnish us with greater amusement. Yes, sire. We must abide by the sacred writ. And then, too, I, uh, I see no reason why the girl should be killed. Captain, Fire. release the prisoners. Yeah. They shall undergo the terrible test. First, bring them over to the pit. All right, come on, come along. This is the test of the torture pit. Flash Gordon, you and Baron will stand on each end of the narrow platform and with long whips try to topple each other into the pit where a surprise will be awaiting you. Check your places. The two mount the platform. Flash ducks as Prince Baron's whip winds over his head. Then Flash's whip hits Baron with such force as to knock him off balance and into the pit. Dropping his whip, Flash leaps after him as he throws the unconscious form of Prince Baron over his shoulder and prepares to climb out a transparent metal sheet silently slides over the top of the pit, trapping them. At the same time, Flash hears a growl, and looking around, he sees three snarling tigrants. Placing Prince Baron on the floor, Flash turns on the fierce beast. The first one charges. Leaping high in the air, Flash comes down on the tigrants back with a powerful wrench, breaks its neck. Instantly, the other two tigrants leap at each other to fight for the possession of the body. Furiously, the battle rages. Finally, both animals are down, wounded unto death. Then Prince Baron regains consciousness. Uh, where? Where are we? We're all right, Prince Baron. Yes. We're in the pit. But they trapped us with that transparent metal lid. And you... You saved us from these beasts. Oh, you are superb, Flash. That was easier than figuring how we're going to get out of here. Look up there. Huh? Prince Soon. Yes. He's just in time. Soon! Roll that metal lid back. He nods that he understands. There. He's done it. We're free. Come along! Meanwhile, in the temple of Tao, Ming and Dale are about to be married by Zogi, the high priest. By now, Dale Arben, my saber-toothed tigrants have torn your hero to pieces. Oh, poor Flash. He died trying to save me. Nothing matters now. Ah, here comes Zogi to perform the ceremony. Oh, mighty Ming, ruler of Mongo and the universe. Does your supreme intelligence take this earth woman to be your wife and empress of Mongo? I most certainly do. And you, Dale Arden, do you take this just and brilliant man to be your lord and master? I, I don't care what happens now. As you have accepted each other in matrimony before the great god Tao, I pronounce Wait, you... Stop. The idol speaks. I, Tao, forbid this marriage. It is a trick. Fool. A stone idol cannot talk. Doggy, swing back the statue. At once, sire. Black Gordon. Black Gordon. He told me you were dead. The Earthman and two companions alive. Go, God. Shoot them down. The marriage must go on. Wait. Sire. The sacred rich say you cannot execute a man who has passed the test of the tigrants. Guard, drop your weapons or Tao will curse you all. What? You dare defy me? I only quote the sacred rich, sire. As high priest, it is my duty to interpret and enforce its dictates. Guard, give me your thought. Zogi, I will stop your jabbering mouth forever. Ah! Oh, how awful. He killed the high priest. Carry the body away, God. <laughs> Bless my darling. I thought I had lost you. Never as long as I have strength in these two arms and the breath of light in my body. So Tao forbids me to slay you, eh? Well, Tao and I will both laugh while you rabble slave in the prison city of the Hawkman. Death would be more desirable. As for you, Dale Arden, you shall be taught to act like my empress. Doomed to a fate worse than death among the cruel hawkmen. What terrifying adventures await our friends? 
Be sure to listen in again next week and hear the further amazing adventures of Flash Gordon and Dale Arden, who appear in full-color pictures next Sunday in the 32-page Comic Weekly supplement of your Hearst Sunday newspaper, the world's greatest all-picture magazine of fun and adventure. Don't miss the Comic Weekly next Sunday. All your friends will be there. Besides Flash Gordon and Dale Arden, you will find King of the Royal Mountain waiting to thrill you with another chapter in his adventures of the great Northwest. Good old Jigs and Maggie in bringing up father. Your old pal Skippy, Tilly the Toiler, Ace Drummond, Johnny Round the World, the Little King, Radio Patrol, they'll all be waiting to entertain you. Of course, those irresponsible Cats and Yammer kids are on deck with a new prank on their friends. How can they think of all those tricks? And as for Barney Google, well, I'm afraid I'll have to agree with Snuffy Smith that Google seems a bit catched in the haze. Remember, they're all in the Comic Weekly next Sunday. 32 pages of colored pictures. Be sure to get your copy of the Hearst Sunday newspaper next Sunday, containing this big 32-page Comic Weekly. And remember, we have a date next week for another chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon and Dale Arden. <laughs>